Tova. All together, Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Do you know what shape a year is? Shh, a year is round. So take your hands and make a big round O like the year. And let me hear your biggest voice you have. O like that. Then go O. Then go O. And then big one, stop. O. Shh, shh. One more time, ready? Three, four. O. Sometimes mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever you came with, they get a little stressed on Russian us. We're gonna give a massage. Turn to your right. Take your karate chop hands, give them a massage, and sing. I'm getting ba -da, a massage. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, service the older kids they were a little embarrassed to get up and dance but that was a mistake you guys won't make that mistake will you when I say get up and dance you get up in front of your chairs and hold your hand up like this kum kum le 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 kum kum le le kum kum le 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 kum kum le 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 right from the top down super big if you want to be a good year you got to be super loud can you be loud no. Can you be loud? One, two, three, four. Back massage time. Take your hands, make a big strong fist, and look, you have in your hand a bim and a bum. They're here not just on Shabbat, also on Rosh Hashanah. Ready? You know what to do. A bim. Shana Tova! Wow, it is terrific to hear you singing 
joyfully, so happy that it is the new year today, Rosh Hashanah, the birthday of the world. And we come here together to pray, to look inside ourselves and see who we are as people and how we can be better people in the year to come. We rise now for the Baruch Hu. your fingers. Let me see. Up, uh, up. Uh, some of you think we have four gods. Some of you think we have two gods. Oh, but most of the kids have the right answer. How many gods do we have? How many? What? You are so right. We have God. And now we pray together on this very special day, the birthday of the world. We pray to our one God, holding hands with someone we love. Please be seated, everyone. Boys and girls, do you know that Rosh Hashanah is the loudest Jewish holiday? Isn't it? Right? Because on Rosh Hashanah, we blow the... And it's really loud. You're going to hear it later. It's, gonna, it's like crazy loud. But I would argue that the most important Jewish prayer is the quietest. So we're going to try that one now. Not loud, but really, really, really quiet. Because it's in the moments of quiet prayer that we can talk directly to God. Close your eyes. And let's make this prayer as quiet as we can be.
I'm going to tell you a story about little old me, about how I was chosen to be eaten with honey. It could have been any fruit. There are so many to choose. With all the sweet and juicy options, I thought for sure I would lose. So I'll tell you the whole story from beginning to end about how the apple became honey's best friend. So this is how it started. Rosh Hashanah was near. The Jewish people wanted to celebrate a brand new year. They had the round challah, the candles, and the wine, but a fruit, they thought. Now that would be fine. Something sweet and fresh and delicious to eat. Something colorful, beautiful, and definitely sweet. So it was decided there would be a contest. All the fruits would compete to be the one who was picked above the rest. All the apples got together, a meeting was held. Every color showed up to be seen, tasted, and smelled. Green and red and yellow and more, even the heirlooms made pretty high scores. But it was me, the humble, classic red, that in the final count came out ahead. The other apple said, come back a winner. We want to be on the table at every Rosh Hashanah dinner. So off I went to face the other fruits to show off my qualities and my finest attributes. First, I saw Peach. She was fuzzy and proud. Her color was like the sunset lost in a cloud. But after she did a little dance and song, the judges said, no, something is wrong. You're just not the fruit we're looking for, we're sorry to say. We thank you for coming now. Please be on your way. Next up was Banana, yellow and tall. I thought, uh-oh, surely she'll beat us all. But after she showed off her stem and a bruise, the judges said, no, we're sorry, but you lose. The third fruit to compete was a purple plum. She was round and shiny and played a little drum. She pranced on stage and said, I'll be right soon. That's when the judges said, sure, but you'll turn into a prune. Sadly, she walked to the side of the stage where the other fruits were already disengaged. But before I was to come up for my chance, there was one more fruit that had the judges in a trance. She was magical, mythical, like the unicorn of fruit. She was green and orange, striking and resolute. She was a mango, an exotic treat. I was just a little red apple, how could I compete? As she approached the stage and did her routine, I thought maybe I should just run and forget the whole thing. But then something happened, a twist of fate. The judges discovered a giant pit inside of her, and for her, it was too late. She couldn't hide the truth. Her insides were hard. The beautiful mango would not be on your Rosh Hashanah card. Finally, my turn came, and I couldn't stop shaking. But then I realized there was no need for my quaking. I went before the judges and let my red peel shine. I let them know I paired beautifully with wine. I told the judges that my friends were yellow and green. They leaned in closer and said, we see what you mean. When the time came, I did the hardest thing by far. I opened myself up and showed them my star. I told them that inside every apple was a beautiful star a gift from God showing us how special apples are. The judges were struck, not believing what they saw. A star, they declared in amazement and awe. Right then, they signed my name and gave it their seal. That would be the fruit at every Rosh Hashanah meal. That's when I met Honey, my new best friend, my favorite dip. She complimented me on my performance and my elegant showmanship. I thanked the judges and the fruits that chose to compete. I told them, I'm glad to be your friend and we're all special and sweet. God made each of us in our own unique way. It's just that when it comes to the Jewish New Year, 
Today is the Apple's day. That's the true story, and it's not just because. I hope you enjoyed listening. Now I'll accept your applause. What a wonderful story. Rosh Hashanah is such a special time where we can eat apples and honey, we can hear the shofar being blown, we can celebrate the birthday of the world. It's also a great time for us to come together, to be with our families here at Temple, and to, to pray, to pray to God. And when we pray, we want our prayers to go up, to ascend, so that God hears them and he can be help to us at this special time of year. So I'm gonna invite you to open up your arms, to lift them up to the sky like this, and just sway them back and forth with me. We're gonna use our voices and sing this song. It is now our opportunity to go up to that ark. And inside the ark, we are going to find something very special. Who knows what's inside the ark? The Torah. So we are going to take out five different Torahs. Five different Torahs. We rise together. And as we get ready to take these Torahs out, we are going to celebrate with some songs. Shalom, 
Shalom, Shalom, It's that time of the year. We're going to hear the shofar. It is the most amazing sound. So, Josh, if you'll come on up. Shh. I need your help. The shofar is a little bit shy this year. I don't know why. So, to make the shofar come out, you have to yell well, as loud as you can the shofar call, which is tekia. Sounds like this tekia. Try it. Yeah, but you got to really like hear it with the turn, the cut, everything. Ready? One, two, three. Good. Josh, do you think that'll work? Do you think that'll work? Emma, you think that'll work? Yeah. Maybe. Let's try. Okay, I got, I got the shoulder down here. He's ready. We need, ready. We need ready. to find him. Okay, ready? On count of three, as loud as you can. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm Kermit the Frog here. Happy Rosh Hashanah. What? We have our shofar. Okay, Josh, you ready? To sound the shofar. Here's the shofar. Are you ready? What? 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 We're going to play the shofar now. Yeah. Did they say something, Emma? I couldn't hear them. What? What? Hold on. Look carefully. If they say this is not a shofar. This is definitely a shofar. What? It's what? Oh, oh, I get it. Oh, okay, oh, okay. okay. It says Kermit the Frog, right? And Kermit the Frog is a Muppet, and the shofar is not a Muppet. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, okay, I got something that's not a Muppet. I got it, I got it, okay. Ready? This time I got it right. On the count of three, Tikiya. Ready? One, two, three. Behold the shofar! Here it is! Here's the... What? What? They're, what they say? They're saying it's a chicken. They think it's a chicken? Oh, yeah. Wait, a shofar does not have wings. Am I what? right? We're so silly. A shofar does not have wings? Is that right? Okay, okay. I got it. Josh, it won't be don't take long. All right, I got something with them wings. Let's see. Okay, uh, um, okay. I think I got it. Ready? Okay, okay on the count of time. three. Really big. One, two, three. Taking off. Ready? 
Okay, Josh, it's time to blow the shofar. Step All forward. right, we're going to blow the shofar. You ready? What? What? What are you saying? Whoa, what? Hold on. What'd they say? They're saying this isn't a shofar. It's a what? What is it? A magic wand. Oh, okay, okay. What? Oh, I know what it is. This is not hollow, so it couldn't be a shofar, right? Right, A right. shofar is hollow, am I right? Okay, <laughs> okay. This time, I promise, don't waste any more of your time. Oh, here's, here's something beautiful, hollow. I'm sure it's the shofar. Ready? One, two, three. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta Look, totally hollow. There we Good go. Job, There's the shofar. Are they happy this time, Emma? What? Wait, what? What? Whoa, whoa! What? Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, here. She's shot, Sean. <laughs> Use that for costume, probably for Purim or something. I don't know. What to do. So it's not. It's not oh. a shoe far, right? It's not a shoe far. <laughs> Wait, it's something used for the head of the year. Is that right? This is the head of the year? So this has to be it. It's like the only other thing is. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Tequila! Tequila! Behold, for the head of the year! What? <laughs> what? What? What are they. Hold on, shh. There's, there's one thing left. There's no possible way Josh can make a shofar sound on it. It looks impossible. But I'll give you a shot. If you shout, if you shout to Kia really loud, I'll bring it out, okay? Okay, ready, guys? Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Take yeah. What? They're clapping. Are they happy with this? I think, are you happy? Okay. Josh, you think you can make a sound for the out with this? I'll make two. Okay. Ready? Stand it up, stand it up. We do the blessing. Baruch Amen. All together, Tikiya. One, two, three. Shivarim. Okay, now you after me. Trua. Trua. Okay, open your as big as the big one. Repeat after me. Tiki Agadola. Tiki Agadola. There's a friend who came to visit. I know you're as excited as hey I am. Hey guys. Hold your dinosaur up if he's here. Who's got a dinosaur? There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. Knock, knock, knocking. One, two, three. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. He wants to spend Rosh Hashanah with me. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. To spend Rosh Hashanah with me. You know what he wants to do? He, he wants to dip an apple and to sing a New Year's song. He wants to blow the shofar. He can hold the note so long. There's a dinosaur. 
and one, two, three. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. He wants to spend Rosh Hashanah with me. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. Knock, 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 and one, two, three. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. He wants to spend Rosh Hashanah. Everybody, if you have someone you love in this sanctuary, how many grandparents we have here? Raise your hand. How happy are grandparents to be here? Say, I'm happy. How happy are parents to be here? Kids, how happy are you to be here? Well, we wish all of you a happy, healthy, wonderful Shana Tova. God bless you.